Oh, what a cock up. We've got half an hour to get to the studio. We're never going to make it. Oh. <laughs> Where's the van? And they said it would be here. Some producer. He couldn't produce a fat maharam. <laughs> Hello, Les. Neville, where the bloody hell are you? Look, the anniversary show goes live to air in 20 minutes. Oh, we still at the concert with the egg board. It was a disaster. What was supposed to come first, the chickens or the eggs? We had to wait till the eggs were done. Where's the van? Uh... <laughs> bloody Nora. Look, it, it might be quick if we get a taxi. Those rotten eggs, they got the last taxi. Oh, bastards. Oh, God, gee. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, Mikey's. Looking conspicuous. Oh. Do you chicks want to live? Four times. Thanks for the lift. Les, can you fix the girls? Yeah, up? yeah, yeah, sure. I'll get you some free tickets for the show. They're all the tickets are free. Shh, shh, shh. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Gee, it was close. I'm actually, we've been late for a 500th show. Yeah, we're not. Today. Don't panic. Les, what? some idiot from upstairs reckons the show's half an hour extra and likes to take us up to the soccer or something. Oh, God, I'll hold up for next week. Uh, hello, yes, under control, don't worry. <laughs> Wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> Good show, guys. Happy anniversary. Bloody Nora. And now, the 500th episode of Australia's favourite variety show, Three Men and a Baby Grand. Say three's company. One for all. We're going hell for leather. We never fall unless we fall together. We're tight as a wound rubber band. We're three men and a baby grand. Five hundred shows and we still hit the spot. Pull back the curtains and ravel the plot. Talk about love. We've got a hunch. We're all over backwards and bring up your lunch. It's all tits and teeth The painted on smile with the tears underneath On with tonight's celebration Let's sing it out loud Who needs any extras? Three men are up proud An extra half hour? What for? Been the cross in live to Brazil for the soccer Didn't you get that memo I sent you? Oh, That'd be the first memo you sent in five years Yeah, yeah, that's the one, that's the one You forgot all about it, didn't you? Let's What? Word from upstairs. The show is twice as long tonight. Oh, you're not serious. Look, I was as shocked as you were when I heard. Yeah, six weeks ago. Well, what are we going to do? Tell the jokes twice? Look, you pros. Use some old scripts. Look in the reject file. There isn't one. We use everything. <laughs> and now on Wednesday Wireless Theatre, episode 24 of Terror in the Amazon. <laughs> it was a quiet evening in my London flat. The muted pulse of the traffic. <laughs> Dogs barking in the distance.
the familiar ambience of the naked city. It's ambience. What? It's ambience. <laughs> Suddenly, my reveries were shattered by the shrill call of the telephone. <laughs> Hello, Chief. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> when? Sorry, no can do. It was a Chinaman with the wrong number. <laughs> Suddenly, a letter shot through my post box. The letter was from the chief. I was to fly that night to the Amazon and find the lost earring of Tutu Bazumbis. <laughs> I had to say goodbye to my favorite woman. I hugged her close and kissed her goodbye. Mother. <laughs> I might not be back. Oh, she in the Amazon jungle. Liz, if you told us before, we could look, I've been flat out. I've had to organize a celebrity tribute. I've been doing that. Could we get more? Fill up the extra time. It's taken me weeks just to get the three of them. Well, I hope they can each do a ten-minute routine. In the distance, I could hear Ung Fung Dizzy, my trusty Indian guide, forging a path through the undergrowth with his chainsaw. <laughs> I quickly... <laughs> we hopped in the helicopter and headed for the falls of Ogamungu. And waterfalls. Oh, the waterfalls. It was the dry season. <laughs> the air, the air was thick with poison darts. <laughs> Duck. Work, 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 work. Wild pigs charged us. <laughs> That'll be five dollars, mate. <laughs> I heard shots in the distance. But the river stood between us and freedom. A mighty highway to cross it uphill. Walk it across the highway. <laughs> Could we escape the grip of Tutu Bazumbis? <laughs> Was it deliverance in the jungle? Could <laughs> we see a new dawn? <laughs> Tune in next week for the next exciting episode of Terror <laughs> in the Amazon. <laughs> Now the extraordinary lips of Lillian Fajiva and her whistling favourites. <laughs> I'm not joking, we have to do an extra half an hour. Andy, where did you put our old script? In the oven. What? Well, if the building goes up, it's the safest place. It's fireproof. Good thinking. Oh, who lit the oven? It's OK, I found the carbons. Thank God we made a backup. Oh, the Last Supper sketch. We can't do that. There's 12 disciples plus Jesus plus the waitress. <laughs> Last morning tea. Hurry up! Lillian's top lip has burst! Can she keep going with the bottom? She can't hold a chin with two lips, let alone one. <laughs> That's it! Don't touch it! Do Gorbachev! Oh, nobody's heard of Gorbachev for five years. If it was funny then, it'll be funny now. Yeah. Oh, that's what worries me. Makeup! I can only do two minutes. 